30 years of preaching. And uh, now you got to have preaching. But if you don't have any praying with the preaching, the preaching ain't worth nothing. It don't help you none. It don't help you none. Don't help you, help you, help you, help you at all. If you don't pray about what you hear. Is that right? I, I, got, I want to read. I want to read a scripture here, and and uh, if I can find it real quick, Psalm forty six. And uh, y'all bear with me just a minute. Anybody? Give, will anybody bear with me a few minutes here? And I'll preach a little bit. Uh, there's the Bible says this, and I I think his first verse. There, there's two words in this first verse that I believe with what I feel in my heart tonight. I believe. Now, some of you don't know it, but I'm going to try to convince you before I get out of here. Uh, and if I can, I'll feel like I've done God's duty tonight, what he'd have me do if I can convince you of, of, of something in this verse. Now, it says, it's a wonderful verse, and it says, God is our refuge and strength and very present help in trouble. Now, the two words that I want, I'll preach this verse. I've preached it time and again. But the two words that's on my heart tonight are those last two words. And that's what I feel like. I feel like we all fit in this category tonight. And those last two words are in trouble. That's right. Now, I know, I know, I know you ain't, some of you don't even know you're in trouble, but I'm here to convince you that you are in trouble. Amen. Now, you say, well, who's in trouble? I'm in trouble. And you're in trouble. Now, I, I don't think you understand it. I, I, I really don't. I really don't. And, and here, here's the reason. Brother Robert get up and gave us a little spiritual rebuke here, and we needed it. And, and he tried to get her. He tried to get her attention. Look, why are we taking this so lax? Why are we so indifferent about one another's troubles and trials? Why? And the word, and he, he didn't say the word is why can't we feel? Why can't we have empathy with one another? Why? I mean, we're watching a world go to hell right before our very eyes. And 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 not only that, but we are in trouble. Amen. And uh, I I read t uh, today, I was reading a, an old, a, a guy gave me a book by an old German author, and, and he was talking about the signs of the end time. And, and brother, it was, uh, and, and he wrote it way back. But he, I'm telling you, if you want to look at the signs of the end, amen, I said, if you want to look at the signs of the end time, they are all around us. Amen. We are not, we are in trouble. We are almost on the verge of the time of Jacob's trouble, but we, amen, are in trouble. Now, now I want you to, uh, now my message tonight is really a positive message, but before I can preach any other, the rest of this verse or the verses that I've got marked here, you've got to realize what kind of trouble you are in here tonight. I was reading today, and, and I could I could just take I could just bring up the newspaper t tonight, and I could spread it out and point out some of the headlines, and, and that ought to be enough to see, let you see what kind of trouble you're in. The stock market in the last few weeks has took a two hundred and some point plunge. I don't have a clue what that means, but some of y'all that's got some uh, retirement or something in that you may know more about what that means. But then I believe it was wasn't it yesterday another two hundred and some point plunge, and uh, most of uh, the wealth of a uh, of American people are tied up on that on the stock market on paper, uh, uh, and uh, that is a risky thing in this hour that we live. And I read where. Today, where the uh, the, the uh, military head had had made a statement about homosexuality in the military, and he had said that it is immoral, and 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 the and here's the deal: the defense secretary, uh, Mr. Gates, rebuked him for saying that it was immoral, said it what what shouldn't be. I'm gonna tell you, we are in a critical situation. Are you listening to me? Amen. And and here, this verse, the Bible said, <clears throat> the last part of that. 
that God is a very present help in trouble. Amen. The Bible said man born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. Now, listen to me. Some of you realize tonight how many problems, how much trouble I do. I, I, I'm not preaching on you necessarily, but I want to maybe if I can just preach to you tonight, amen, realize, hey, I want to tell you something. If you're a human being in this world tonight, you are in trouble. Are you listening to me? Amen. You may not realize it, but you have a troubling, amen, environment. Praise God to live your life in. You're in the flesh. And brother, that is a troubling thing. Amen. Because, amen, the flesh wars against the spirit. Amen. You are in the trouble of your life. We have an adversary. Amen. Come on now. His name is Lucifer. Satan. Amen. Son of the morning. Amen. He has power. Amen. Come on. He came to steal, to steal, to kill, and destroy. You don't even realize it, some of you, that the devil has you under his authority, and you're in big trouble. Amen. Oh, I wish I was a preacher tonight. I know, I know, it don't take me long to preach. Uh, amen. It, it don't really, amen. But I, I want us to realize, woo, I feel like preaching to you a little bit. Amen. Your sweethearts here. Uh, amen. I, I got down to pray. Uh, I, I appreciate y'all that came out and prayed. Amen. Uh, uh, what was it? Monday? Uh, amen. I appreciate. Amen. You're coming out to pray. Praise God. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. How many do we have here? Probably 15, 20 people. Amen. And I, I felt I, I was pleased with that. When we came in here, me and Isaac came in about five after six uh, and seen about eight cars in the parking lot. I said, are they having a shower? I was really shocked. Now, y'all think I'm kidding, uh, but I'm not shocked. Uh, I'm not kidding. I was shocked. Uh, amen. Y'all, y'all stay with me. I'm not jumping on you tonight. I'm not. I'm not rebuking you. I'm not doing that either. Amen. I'm not at all. Amen. I know you have things to do. Uh, amen. I realize that. But I want to tell you this. Uh, if this church right here uh, knew the trouble uh, that was waiting and looming over us, uh, amen, we'd be more, uh, amen, apt to come to prayer meeting. Uh, and I'm not rebuking you. Uh, I hope you understand that I'm not rebuking you. Uh, amen. But I'll tell you this. Uh, amen. If you realize the trouble uh, that we had, uh, amen, those things that you had to do wouldn't have seemed near as important. Uh, amen. I know you may not could have come. Uh, and when gas is $3 a gallon, uh, you may have just opted to pray at the house, uh, and I don't blame you one iota, uh, amen, that's right, uh, but brother, listen to me, uh, amen, we're in trouble, uh, what are you doing, preacher, uh, amen, about it, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, amen, we've got to find out what to do uh, in time of trouble, uh, I wish I was a preacher, uh, amen, that's what you need, uh, amen, you need a preacher, uh, amen, somebody will tell you the truth, uh, somebody can get anointed, uh, somebody will have authority of the Bible, uh, and authority of the Spirit of God. Uh, you need a preacher, uh, amen, that'll shake you out of your sleep. Uh, you need somebody like Brother Robert, uh, amen, who'll jump up uh, and get emotional uh, and wake you out of your stupor uh, and let you realize, uh, amen, the Sister Hildred, uh, you've got a boy uh, that's on the brink of going to hell. Uh, amen. Come on now. Uh, uh, cry out, God help me. Uh, amen. But he needs to pray uh, that God will save his soul. Uh, you talk about trouble. Uh, if we lose a love one in the hell. Y'all ain't liking this. I, I, just, I wish I was, God help me to preach. Help me to pray more, Lord. Oh, help me. Help me, help me. We're in trouble. Amen. Y'all, y'all ain't got to. We're in trouble. You say, I know America's in trouble. I am an American. So I am in trouble. Oh, I know Brother Robert's in trouble. He's got a lost son. Brother Robert is my brother. Therefore, I am in trouble. Y'all ain't helped me a bit. Ooh. Ooh. I can't help it. God have mercy on me. But I love you and I watch you come in. And there ain't probably any of you that somehow I've got some of the burden of what you're carrying. And not all of I couldn't take it all. But I know somewhat. 
And I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you try every way under the sun to solve the riddle of your life. And you can't get it done. I could uh, I could spend the rest of the of this twenty minutes pointing out troubles and some of you as blind as as you are. I could I could if I preached and hucked and bucked and sweated and screamed and preached on enough stuff, finally you'd say, Well, I guess you know, I guess I may be in trouble. But I'm gonna tell you. Amen. We are in the troubling hour. You say, well, what about it, brother? What what about it? What about it? Little old youngins can't go out and play. Some pervert will take them, abuse them. A a little girl, and I don't even like to say this in front of these little kids hardly because I don't want them having bad dreams, and, and I know how it goes. But I'm telling you, take a little old kid buried alive after being mutilated and abused. I'm going to tell you something. We are in trouble. You say, not me. If you've got a heart, you feel it. Huh? I wish you'd say amen. Now, you say, well, what is all this about? In trouble. Amen. In a time of trouble. Brother Charlie, it's already been prophesied. There's not going to be a day any worse than the day we live in. Deceivers would wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. They'd be a great falling away, trouble on every hand, wars, rumors of war. Now, I'm about done. Now, preacher, what? What? What's the rest of that verse say? What does it say? The Lord is my refuge and strength. I want to ask you something. Is this how you're handling your trouble? Is this how you're handling your trouble? Huh? Is this how you handle God. How many knows what a refuge is? When trouble comes on the horizon, you know what a refuge is? That is somewhere you go to find shelter and safety. God is my refuge. God is my strength. He is a very present help in trouble. Now listen to me. Amen. Why do we need to come to the house of God? Why do we need a prayer? Oh, y'all ain't getting this. Uh, It ain't your fault. Amen. Listen, God said, amen, he is a very present help in trouble. We've got it. I said we've got it. Some of you don't even know what trouble you're in. And I'm going to tell you, listen to me now. I'm going to tell you. I can't get away from this, but I'm going to tell you. If you're on your way home tonight and you ain't right with God and you lose that vehicle and you leave out of this world, take your last breath, backslid, cold on God. You're going to have more trouble than eternity will ever solve. Now, you may not like that. And I'm going to tell you, you come to church night after night, day after day. If you ain't right with God, you've got more trouble than you could ever imagine. Huh? Can somebody say amen? You say, well, what in the world is the key to it? What's the, what are you talking about? Amen. He's a very present help. We are not without help. Amen. In our time of trouble. And brother, we have it. And I, I may have more than anybody in here. I don't know. Amen. But I do know this much right here. In the time of trouble, there is a very present help. Amen. In time of trouble. What does the psalmist say? I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh 
My help, my help, amen, cometh from, amen, the Lord. Listen to this right here. From the end of the earth, I cried unto thee. Amen. When my heart is overwhelmed, amen, you talk about trouble, amen, when our heart, amen, is overwhelmed, when it comes in, the enemy comes in like a flood, amen. I I looked at a picture, Brother Dallas Lake's wife had a, when that uh, Hurricane Katrina came in the coast, and she showed me a picture that was taken from an airplane and a, a wave that was coming in off of that gulf. I've never seen nothing like it. It wasn't as high as this roof. It was many times higher than this roof. Little houses down there, you could barely see the, 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 I mean, hundreds of feet below that way. You could just see the cone of the roof sticking out of the water already. And here come this way. It looked to me like hundreds of feet higher than the roofs of those houses. As those old, so tight, big old tidal waves, amen, come in. And I thought of the verse, uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood, uh, the Spirit of the Lord, uh, amen, will lift up the standard against it. Uh, amen. When my heart uh, is overwhelmed, uh, I I feel in my heart tonight uh, that there's folks in this house, uh, amen, that are almost overwhelmed, uh, amen, by the trouble in their life, uh, amen, by the disappointments in their life, uh, by the failures in their life. uh, And the Bible said when the enemy, uh, amen, oh, I love this, uh, when my heart is overwhelmed, uh, amen, brother Charlie, bless your heart, uh, amen, crawl up here in this corner, uh, amen, I know this world overwhelms you. Uh, I want to tell you, precious, amen, young girl, Stephanie, uh, amen, I know this world. Amen. The troubles overwhelm you. I know moms and dads sitting, amen, in here tonight. We've got trouble. There's no reason us imagining away. But I want to tell you what I know for a fact. Amen. He said when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You ain't like it. I'm trying to preach to you. Amen. It's a troublesome time. But in the midst of the trouble, amen, there's a present help. In the midst of this overwhelming. Don't give up. There's a rock. Hallelujah. I wish I was a preacher. I'd preach to you a little bit. Listen to this. What time? Troublesome times. What time I am afraid. It's what the psalmist David said. The great, the great soldier. What time I am afraid. I will Trust in thee. Sweet Lamb of God. I come here, Brother Tim. God help me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to live through it. I'm going to go to heaven. That's all right. I come here and look at some of our poor little old people. Brother Robert, I told him last night I dreamed about me and him. It, it was bad. I mean, I, I was worried about him and worried about me and, I kept waking up and going back when I don't know what he's been going through. I guess when his wife is going through it, you're going through it too. I don't know what you've been through. I don't I don't know. But we've got trouble on our hands. There's no need and I don't you say, Well, why are you bringing that up? We've got to realize, some of you don't realize what trouble you're in. If you're living in this world, you're going to have trouble. If you're living without God in this world and without a prayer life uh, and without faith in the Bible, you really got trouble. Amen. But listen to this. Uh, amen. David had his power, his power of trouble. Uh, and he said, what time I am afraid. Uh, I'm just going to fess up to you right now. Uh, amen. There's times. Uh, and I, I don't say a whole lot about it. Uh, I don't want to concern my uh, brother. Uh, there's been times uh, that that old pain, uh, amen, pinned me to the couch. Uh, and the old blood pressure shoot out of sight uh, and I didn't know if I could get off the couch or not uh, are you listening to me uh, and laying there in the dark brother Kenny uh, and you want to have faith uh, amen you want to believe God uh, but you hate just to slip out without anybody knowing it you know you like somebody to be around where you can say uh, see you later or something uh, amen and there's a fear gets on you brother saying I don't know if you you may be tougher than that uh, but I'm not like that uh, there's a fear uh, goes to climbing up on me uh, amen and I can't hardly shake it uh, There's somebody in this house tonight uh, that has the same problem. Uh, Oh, you're tough. uh, Amen. And you know you go to church a lot. uh, Amen. But, brother, the devil's almost got you. Amen. So fearful uh, and afraid uh, and overwhelmed. uh, Amen. And in trouble uh, that you can't see no way out. uh, 
Amen. But I want to tell you this. Uh, Jesus said in this world, uh, you have tribulation. Uh, but in me, uh, you have peace. Uh, for I have uh, overcome the world. Uh, I wish you could just throw yourself uh, right into the arms of the Son of God. Uh, amen. Somebody's in trouble, but Jesus can get you out. When my heart is overwhelmed, when I'm afraid, Brother Darrell, old tough Darrell, strong and full of laughter, old Tyler said he loves to work with Darrell. He ain't here, is he? Was this all right? I said, I, tell, I better not tell her. He, he thought Darrell could almost out-sing you. Huh? I, that's, I don't, I'm going to get him up there with you all these nights. Let's just, we'll have a little contest. Just not American Idol now. Don't get me wrong. It's just, but we'll just have a little contest. Brother Darrell, even old Darrell gets afraid sometimes. Huh? Even, even you that's tough and got it all together and got money in the bank, sometimes life overwhelms you. Huh? But I'm going to tell you, I don't know if it's any good or not. But somewhere in the midst of all that storm, there's an anchor. There's a rock. There's Jesus. Huh? He's present and accounted for. There's some of you here, you had friends. When the going got tough, they left you. I have some of my closest That's right. I'm going to tell you. You'll find out one day. You'll find out before you leave this world. You'll go through the test. And you'll find out, really, who will stay with you in the trouble. And there will be times there won't be but one. (laughs) But thank God for him. Somewhere in the shadows, you'll find Jesus. I ain't much preaching, but I'll tell you where it come from. I feel like I got people in trouble here tonight. Anybody feel that way? Really, everybody in this building. If you're a young person, you've got the you've got the desire to find a companion and and and. And there ain't much to pick from. And you might as well just go ahead and admit it, Brother Zane. They're not going to just stay without one. They're going to get one if they have to get a dud, rotten to the core. Now, I I wish it wasn't that way, but that's the way life is. And I'll tell you, everybody will put their best foot forward. And I'll tell you, it's a troublesome time. When, When our... When, when really are the people running for president? Are y'all out there? Huh? The only one that ain't been married three or four times is the Mormon. Now, ain't that weird? Huh? And I thought he was a real family man. I mean, you know what I mean by that. I mean, he, you know, that way that, and he's the only one I think of the whole bunch that's been married one time. Huh? Well, it, I feel trouble now for sure. I'm going to tell you. Children, they can't hardly find a mate that'll go to church and stay in church and live for God till death do they part. I wish you'd say amen. Find a job. Got to have an education. Are you ready to fork out about 50000 Y'all don't believe that, do you? Anybody got an education? Everybody, anybody got a bachelor's degree lately? Huh? Is 50, would 50000 buy one? You had to pay it? Huh? Without any aids or Pell Grants? I mean, and they tell you, they tell you the reason you got real rich people and real poor people is cause education. And then you can't get an education if you ain't got $50,000 and hawk the whole farm. I'd just say stay on the farm and plant some garden. Huh? We're in trouble. I said we're in trouble. But we got a remedy. And really, 
I've heard Brother Mike comes. I've heard him testify about it before, and, it, and it's truer now than when he said it. It looks like people's going to have to lose everything they got before they go back to God. But it looks like we'd wake up tonight and realize the trouble that we're in and where to go. Where to go. You think you're going to be able to handle it yourself? Now, I want to ask you something. I want you to be real honest with me. Tonight, when I came out here and read them two words, in trouble, you don't have to raise your hand, but I wonder how many sat here tonight and said, that's me. I don't know at the times, Brother Tommy. I went to prayer in the last several years. I don't know if, if God records. I know he does. I don't know if it's thousands of times, I guess, that I've said, Lord, I'm in trouble. There's a marriage in this building right now. The devil's working on hard. And just a little ways around the corner, if this family don't go to God, it's going to be history. And let me tell you something now. You really ain't experienced trouble like that kind of trouble. You take it for granted now that you've got somebody waiting when you go home. But when you go to a dark house, it's trouble. It looks like you'd spend some time on your knees. Am I telling you the truth, church, or not? Church, I got, I'm going to close. I, I'm sorry that I've wearied you, but I got a visitation from the building inspector today, and, and I'll just, I'll have to admit it. I guess, Brother Robert, it wasn't hard to tell. It depressed me. <laughs> the fire marshal, building inspector, he brought in a book and laid it on the desk, and it had, so much stuff in it, I didn't even look at it. He gave me two pages of stuff that I'm going to have to do. We're going to have to do. <laughs> Did I say that right? To be under compliance, I, no, I can't even go into all of them right now. No need. But really, that that is a trial for us. And it just, it just, it just dampened my spirit. For, uh, and I'll tell you, Brother Charlie, the thing that got me, I guess, more than anything else, was I'm going to have to tire that star way out up through there you just put in. And I, I guess I hated that more than anything because it looks so good. And them two handrails, going to have to come off. And it just, but I thought, as, I, as, I, as this message come on my heart, and I, I really, I, I carried that all day long, thinking about that, looking at that list and thinking about that. But, Brother... That ain't nothing compared to some of the troubles in this building here tonight. It really ain't. I mean, that, that's going to be money. <laughs> God knows that's a problem, but it ain't like the problem. There's folks in this house, and I'm just obeying the Lord, that haven't prayed through in a long time. Now, if you think you can go to heaven like that, you might, you know, God's a merciful God, but I sure wouldn't want to take a chance on it. I wouldn't. Right now, we've got our trouble. I know we do. But, brother, if you're a child of God, you've got a source of strength in that trouble. And we ought to run to him tonight. I said we ought to run to him tonight. When my kids were little and, and something would scare them in the night, It'd be mommy, daddy. I remember Ken's when she was real little. She'd wake up in the night. She hadn't even learned to talk much or nothing. Just a couple of words. Couldn't make a full sentence, really. And she'd wake up in the night in her crib, and she'd say, Daddy, me. That's all. That was the whole sentence. Daddy, me. But it moved me. It moved me out of the bed and in through the dark. 
Amen. I feel like crying to my father tonight and say, Lord, can you see me? I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. He's very present to help in trouble. Bow your heads with me just a minute. We're going to let you go home. I wonder real quick while no one.